you guys, welcome back to my table three. My name is Carrie and I am thrilled to have you back with me today. Today I'm going to be showing you just a short video. Well, hopefully it'll be short. I'm basically restocking my pantry with spice, uh, spice blends that I make myself. Um, and so I thought I would show you three that I actually need. So I hadn't planned on doing this video, so it may seem a little haphazard, but I thought I need to restock these for my pantry and I might as well show you while I'm doing it because some people may want to make their own. I'm actually going to show you three different ones. I'm going to show you Cajun seasoning, and I just made these, but we're going to jump back in time and show you how I've done it. And then a poultry seasoning, which is good for the holidays coming up and for seasoning meats and different comforting dishes. And then I'm going to show you again how to do my ranch um, dressing mix. It's just a dry ranch mix that I put together so I don't have to buy the ranch packets or seasonings at the store because they're like controlling what's in my spices. So I just buy my small spices in bulk. Some of them, some of them I don't have in bulk, but I'm trying to move to all bulk, bulk. And then I just make these and keep them in the cabinet. You can put an oxygen absorber in there, but mainly you just need to make sure they stay dry uh, so they don't clump. But yeah, let me go through each one of these for you. Like I said, I've already made them. I've already put them in jars, but I wanted to show you, um, do a little introduction because like I said, I wasn't gonna record it until last minute and I forgot to record, it, record an intro, <laughs> intro before I made these. But anyway, let's jump back show you how I made these really quick and then I'll come back and talk a little bit more about them. Okay, so we're going to start with our poultry seasoning here and I'm going to put everything into this spice grinder that I have. It's just the old cheap Mr. Coffee. <laughs> it's like nine or ten bucks at Walmart with inflation. Probably twelve or thirteen bucks now. now. But anyway, I'm going to put everything in here so it blends up really good. My onion powder and garlic powder are super fine but my Italian seasoning and my mustard seed are not. And I add a little bit into my Cajun seasoning. So I'm going to be using uh, a tablespoon for some of these, and then this uh, measuring spoon is two tablespoons. So I will also have that all linked. The recipe, my blog has all these recipes, and I'll link that link to that. And all three of these will be in the same post. Uh, you can just scroll down and then simply print them out. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start with smoked paprika. I like the smoke. If you don't have smoked you can do um, regular, you know, paprika. But I like the smoky flavor that, oh, oh, there's two, that this has three. So three tablespoons of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika, it sounds like I'm gonna have trouble talking today. So that is that, and then since my tablespoon, we'll do the garlic and any kind of last, so that didn't have that. Now we've got two tablespoons of you could use um, thyme and marjoram, but they are, I just use um, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning because it also, not marjoram, I'm sorry, oregano and basil and thyme, but I just use two tablespoons of Italian seasoning because that has all of that already in there. Then I am going to do, and you can use, this is cayenne pepper. Um, you, this will be, however spicy you want your Cajun seasoning to be. I use this a lot of time with recipes that have like spicy sausage in it, so I only put one teaspoon in mine, maybe a teaspoon and a half. Yeah, a teaspoon and a half. But I'll put one to two teaspoons, or the recipe says one to two teaspoons, so there's that. And then I'm also going to do half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, which that will grind up. You can leave that out or use mustard powder if you like. Okay, and then, let me go ahead and do, this is my onion powder. I think I will just mix it all together. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of onion powder. And I try and buy my spices in bulk. If you see my Azure um, food order, which it's already been posted, but if you, that, sorry, that was garlic powder. So I actually need two of those. If you see my Azure order, I'm in the process of trying some of their spices so I don't have any right now I have dill coming and I did buy parsley so I'm switching over to those but I'm going to work through these first okay so that was two tablespoons of garlic uh, garlic powder one teaspoon of onion powder now you could put salt in this I think I've seen people put salt in this before and you could put oh I don't know a tablespoon of salt I don't ever put salt in my mixes because I like the salt and control the salt outside of that. You know, I don't like to put blends with salt in it, but you can. So now I'm just going to put the lid on this 
and grind it up. And I'm actually going to be using this in a video that I have coming up for Soup Timber. You will see this video where I am actually stocking my spices before that. So this is the Cajun seasoning that I will be using in that recipe that I'm going to do. One of my soups. I got two coming in that recipe. Or in that collaboration. I'm doing two soups in this Cajun seasoning is for I use in one of those soups. You just want to get it ground up fine so that your Italian seasoning and your mustard seeds are ground up and everything is mixed together. And that's it. Look at that. Oh, it smells amazing. So I am just going to get it put into this uh, little funnel. Isn't that cute? Get it put into this um, jar. And then we will move right on to our poultry seasoning. Look how pretty that is. See that? Okay, guys. I've already made this poultry seasoning one time, but apparently my camera decided not to record the part. So we're going to make a double batch. That's okay. I'll use plenty of it teaching the class and um, cooking with it this fall. So we're going to start out with... Our main ingredients with this um, sage. We need three tablespoons of sage. Remember, this is a two tablespoons there. And if I forget to tell you the measurements, the links are below. You can print that out. So that's three tablespoons of sage. Uh, sage. We are going to do two tablespoons of ground thyme. And that's what this is. I need to buy this in bulk, but I was trying to get used to it. I have to forgive my fingernails right now. I'm in the middle of a, I, have, I need a, to redo those. And I apologize for that. But anyway, so this is going to be two tablespoons of ground thyme, a little bit more because it didn't fill up. So that's three tablespoons of sage, two tablespoons of thyme. We need two tablespoons of rosemary. That's what this is. And one reason we are grinding this is to get the rosemary ground up really well. I just want some of the leaves. Alright, and then we need marjoram, which this is just cut marjoram I buy. It's cheaper at my local health food store, guys, than it is at Walmart. This um, is one ounce, and it cost me 84 cents. At Walmart, there was one ounce, and it was like five something. So yeah, check your local health food stores or your little bulk stores if you have them. So we need one tablespoon of this marjoram. And now this recipe calls for one teaspoon, I'm sorry, a half a teaspoon of net nutmeg when I first started doing it. But I cannot stand nutmeg. As you, if you watch me, you know that. But so I'm gonna skip that part. You can put that in there. I'll, it's in the recipe I put on my blog. Um, but I, I just put optional beside it. And then you, a uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, that is it. And then that's it, guys. That's all your spices for your poultry season in there. And you can just blend it up. I'm just gonna blend it up good enough so that that rosemary gets all blended up and it's not any little sticks and stuff in there. And yeah, and then I'll have a double batch of this poultry season since my camera decided not to record it the first time. It's always like that, right? Something. The camera stopped, the dogs were barking to get in, the phone was ringing. I, it was crazy. But anyway, we're doing this again so you guys can see it. And it's nice and green. <coughs> oh, I did it again. The fumes. Be careful when you do the fumes when you're grinding your herbs because they are strong. But there it is. It's really beautiful. I'm going to put it in this little jar that I have for poultry season. There's the fat first batch I've done when you guys uh, were supposed to be watching, but you weren't because of the camera. So now I'm going to put this in the jar. And then I'm going to show you next how to do my homemade bulk ranch seasoning. I think I've showed you before in my dill pickle ranch video I did. I'll link that up here, up here, up here somewhere if you haven't seen that. But I thought since I need to refill my ranch powder uh, for us, we go through it so much, I need to make some more. I thought I'd show you again. So you'll have three DIY spice blends for you covered. So let me put this in there and I'll clean everything up and we'll come back and do the ranch. Okay, so our next thing I'm going to show you is how I refill my ranch seasoning mix. Now, this is basically the dry mix that you get in those little packets or that tall plastic container at Sam's. But I just make it at home so that I can control that there's no fillers, no bulk agents or nothing like that. And it is super simple. It is just equal parts of dill, garlic, onion powder, and parsley. And it's that, and some people put salt, you know, as I said earlier, 
I don't put salt because I like to control the salt in my own food and I don't often salt my dressing. So, plus a lot of times we make dill pickle ranch and the pickles have plenty of salt. So, if you wanted to do this, and I'll put optional, uh, I think in my recipe I have a teaspoon of salt optional, but I don't put it in mine, just for the record. So, first thing I'm gonna do is garlic powder. Remember, this is my two tablespoons. I'm gonna double the bat, so I'm gonna do four tablespoons. Actually, I'm gonna do six, so I'm gonna triple. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna me. Oh, that garlic powder. These spices are getting me, guys. Excuse me. Then I'm gonna do six tablespoons of onion powder. Make sure they're level. mix it up you know one tablespoon of each um and i actually am going to do just this larger amount like i said we use it a lot but you can just mix it up a little bit at a time to with this parsley four six i gotta see if i have another thing of deal somewhere and then this is just deal weed i do have some of this coming from azure I'm actually probably just going to do four tablespoons. Uh, I'll do equal parts there. I have enough. Maybe I don't. I don't have. Anyway, that's five tablespoons for me, but just do equal parts. And then that is it. As you can see that, see it, how it's layered in there? You can stir it up. I just shake it up. You know, just shake it up really good. Shake it up really good. And then there you have your ranch powder. It's just like that. And you use, like to make ranch, I will do like a cup of mayo, a cup of sour cream, a little bit of cream or water, and then two tablespoons of this stuff. And you have a delicious homemade ranch. So there you go. I'll come back and show you what all three of them look like together and we'll finish up the video. Okay guys, so you saw that. The last one I showed you was my ranch dressing. I just, like I said, mix it up really quick for salads. Um, I use the seasoning. Sometimes I'll put chicken in a crock pot and just sprinkle that on there. When I do my Mississippi pot roast, um, instead of buying the ranch packets and the Ajou packets, I will just um, put a couple tablespoons of my ranch mix that I make right over the top with the pepperoncinis and stuff. So just like you could use, uh, any way you could use the powder mix, you can use your homemade mix, dips, any kind of thing like that. It's fantastic. There's no fillers in it, and it has a wonderful flavor. Anybody I ever make ranch for, they always love the ranch, and that's because it's homemade using my ranch seasoning that you just saw. And again, here is the little poultry seasoning. I don't make it. This is about, this will last me all winter, fall and winter. I use this for like in my cornbread dressing at Thanksgiving to maybe to season a turkey. You can do chicken and dumplings. You can use some of this. Pot pies. This is really good. It just gives it a really comforting, homey feel. You would use probably about a teaspoon. Most recipes that call for poultry season will call for probably one to two tables, one to two teaspoons because it's very potent uh, because all the strong, you know, the sage and marjoram and thyme, they're all very strong. So usually one to two teaspoons is plenty in your recipe. Usually one is what I stick to but they are amazing. And then of course the Cajun seasoning, which is good on meat, it's good in pasta, soups, stews, um, you can flavor your meat with it, but it's just really good. Even if you grill meat, you can put this on there um, and marinate it and grill it and it's amazing. So there are three easy spice blends that you can do yourself. Once you get all your bulk spices, it is even cheaper to, than it is to buy them at the store because um, I don't know, I think I told you about the marjoram. I don't know if I did, but I'm gonna say it again. This marjoram I buy um, at my health food store, and this is just a little bag of it. I'm gonna get some more, a larger one, but it was one ounce for 89 cents. At Walmart, I had to order it, first of all, in my grocery pickup, it was telling me um, that it was like four or five dollars for like 0.75 or one ounce. So definitely check your little grocery stores, your little bulk food stores or health food stores in your area if they have spices, because you may find them cheaper. So there's that, you guys. I'm going to stop rambling if I don't really, you know, what I do, if I don't plan it, I tend to ramble. And I don't want to keep y'all on here forever. It's already long enough. But I hope each one of these spice blends will be beneficial in your pantry. 
Um, thanks for everybody that did watch my last video, the Azure Pantry Haul. If you have not seen that, I'll put the link up here or a link in the description so you can go back and watch that. And I will tell you that one of my next videos is going to be um, Soup Timber, where I'll be showing you two delicious soups. I will actually be doing a low-carb version of those, but give you um, directions on how to do them. Not low-carb if you need them. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, it'll be probably the next week or week and a half, and I hope you watch it. Hope you guys are having a great September, and I will see you guys next time.